and welcome to Let's Talk Spoop. I'm your host, Don, and today we're going to talk about Werewolves Within, which I watched on Hulu. Before we get into Werewolves Within, I would like to invite you to please like, comment, subscribe, think about donating, joining the community. Uh, we're trying to build this community. We've got some big plans coming up, but we need a bigger community to, to do them. So please feel free to join us at Let's Talk Entertainment. As I said before, we're talking about Werewolves Within, which I watched on Hulu. As per usual, we break things down into six separate categories. Those six separate categories are story, acting, music, look, atmosphere, and finally creep. And I said those in the wrong order because I didn't check my notes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Werewolves Within on Hulu. So, so the story, it's about um, the, the park ranger. I, I gotta get these angles right. Maybe I should like flip the poster and my picture to the opposite side so that I'm gesturing. Anyway, uh, it's about <laughs> this new park ranger who um, is moving into the small town, a uh, very, very small town, to be their ranger. Um, and when he gets there, things are shenaniganry. So we get introduced to him. He's our main character. We get introduced to our female lead, who is the postwoman, um, who is played by the AT&T girl, which I'm sure she probably doesn't appreciate me, like, bulleting, like narrowing down her entire existence to being the AT&T girl. But that's what I know her from. Uh, who is hilarious in this movie, by the way. And we get introduced to all the rest of, like, the people who live in the area. We find out there's some political things going on. And then that night, all of the generator or power gets cut. All the generators get destroyed. And there's a huge snowstorm. And somebody attacks one of the people's dogs. And it was a werewolf. And so now we've got a group of people who mostly don't get along, all locked in this hotel together. And it's got a, it's got a little bit of that, like, Lord of the Flies-esque, like, no rules, everybody turning on everybody sort of situation. Uh, at the same time, that there's some pretty funny things going on. Like, a dude gets his hand bitten off, specifically. And other stuff like that. Um, it was very funny. So for the story, I gave it a four. Um, acting, like I said, it was really funny. Um, the at t girl, again, her name is... It's too small for me to read. Her name is Milana Vaintrump. She is hilarious. She absolutely nailed her entire role, and I loved it. Um, the, the park ranger is just this nice guy, and... Everything's just going horribly wrong, and he's still just trying to be a nice guy the entire time and keep everything together. It, it was really good. So for acting, I gave it a four. I thoroughly enjoyed almost every part that was played in this movie. Music, nothing special with the music. It's a 2.5. There's nothing really to talk about there. Um, atmosphere, I was hooked. From beginning to end of this movie, I was engaged. I loved every moment of it. I was laughing. I was super involved. I wanted to figure out... I've, I had a pretty good idea who the werewolf was, but I was invested in finding out who the werewolf was. So I gave it a five for atmosphere. Um, look, that's look and creep is where this movie falls off. It's a horror comedy. Um, the werewolf just looks silly, and there's not really much like blood and gore, or special effects, or anything like that. So unfortunately, for look and for creep. I had to give it a 1 for Bofa. So we tally up those scores, and we get a 2.9 out of 5, which we're just going to round up to a 3 for the sake of ease. So 3.0 for Werewolves Within. I strongly recommend it if you like horror comedy, um, especially the, kind of that kind of dark humor. Um, but yeah, that's it. If you have any comments, questions, anything along those lines, please feel free to drop in the comment section, but uh, please be polite. Okay, thanks, bye.